Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Earlier this month, I posted a video that Microsoft could be expected to start rolling out the second wave of new features, also known as the Moment 2 update, in February and or March of this year. Now, already today in my region, we are on the 21st of February. So if the Moment 2 update is going to arrive, that will arrive with the optional bug fix C release update over the next couple of days. And if it doesn't arrive over the next couple of days, um, towards the end of February, then rolling out next month in March. And then um, the Moment 3 update, the third wave of new features, as mentioned previously, arriving in May and or June. Now, as I did uh, say and mention in that previous video, back then it was possible that the future beta channel builds had been spotted, suggesting the new build numbers of the Windows 11 Moment 3 feature update. Now, I'll leave a link to that video in the description as it will just give you a little bit more info. But as I did post on, and um, this does align with what I did post on earlier this month, according to a recent leak and rumors doing the rounds online, Microsoft will release the Moment 3 update, the third wave of new features, to the beta channel Insider soon. So this all aligns now as to what I did post previously this month. Now, um, just to do a quick recap, in case you were unaware about the Moment updates, and just to connect the dots. Um, Moment updates um, for Windows 11 are feature drops that are released throughout the year that bring new features, changes, and improvements to Windows 11. And instead of Microsoft releasing two major updates, feature updates a year, like they did back in the day with Windows 10, they have now switched to the feature drop style update that rolls out for Windows 11. And um, as many of you will know, uh, the first Moment update was released in October last year. And one of the key highlights for the first wave of new features, referred to as Moment 1, which did roll out in October last year, was the tabs in the File Explorer. So it brought the tabs, which was quite a big feature for Moment 1. And then, um, as mentioned, Microsoft is now preparing to launch Moment 2, either um, over the next couple of days towards the end of February or in March next month. Now, um, if we just head over to the release notes for the uh, latest um, Windows beta channel uh, preview builds, currently the build numbers are on double two six two one and double two six two three. Now, um, that leak suggests, and as has been spotted and according to these rumors, that uh, the next beta channel build will be 22624. So when that does make its way to the beta channel, um, 22623 currently uh, has new features rolling out, as many of you will know. So 22624 will have the new features rolling out. And apparently that's going to be enabled using an enablement package um, with the update KB5023595 which will bring the third wave of new features then to the beta channel, which will have the bold number 22624 and point whatever. So that point release will obviously be bumped up accordingly. Now, um, so that means that the Moment 3 update is one step closer to public release, possibly in May and or June. And um, because um, there is a small gap between the Moment 2 update rolling out this month or next month in March, um, the Moment 3 update, um, it is expected, won't have that many new features which will be rolling out in the Moment 2 update. So there will be fewer functionalities than in the previous Moment 2 update. But as mentioned, none of this has actually been confirmed by Microsoft, and these are just suggestions, leaks, and rumors. But if anything does um, change, I will post and let you know. But just wanted to keep you updated if you are interested and are expecting the moment to update and obviously following the release of those feature drops. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.